Hi YouTube, this is my project. I'm going to be building a server PC. I've chosen various components which I'm going to take you through. I'll start off with the case. For the case, I chose a Factual Design R3 Define. I've reviewed this case on my previous video, so feel free to have a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the camera off the tripod and give you a little tour and explain to you why I chose various components. So, Okay, this is the case, uh, a very nice case, um, several reasons of why I chose this case. Number one, it's got a, I wouldn't say plain, but it's got a sleek look to it. Uh, it opens up on the front I'll just fit it on a Pioneer DVD-RW as you can see the case is a very sturdy case it's got soundproof foaming here because I do want the server to be quite silent unlike those usual servers with blaring fan noises because this is going to go into an office and no one wants a big vacuum noise at the background um, as you can see it's got two panels that opens up this one's a bit stiff there you go and it's got dust filters with 120mm case fan in there you got option of adding another one which I'm not going to do at the moment so you can easily just clean the dust filters for maintenance these clip off if you need to add another dry bay so I'm just going to put that back in and if I go around the inside I just fitted on a motherboard here but I haven't had all the components yet for the motherboard it's a ASUS motherboard a sandy bridge I'm going to be putting in a core i5 2600 model uh, one other thing I like about this case is it's got a lot of expansions obviously this server is going to have um, six hard drives uh, with two RAID sets so I did need a lot of drive cages and as you can see here you've got the drive cage uh, these are solid aluminium and he's got the rubber grommets there to screw on your hard drive and it also helps absorb the vibration and you have eight of them which is very convenient because I have as you can see over here that's my PC over here um, you don't have enough drive bays on that but we're not talking about that so so for the primary hard drive on my server I'll be using the Western Digital 500 GB enterprise storage hard drives you can see a review of it on my channel of why these hard drives are good for servers those are the hard drives I'll be using mounting them in and using them on my server on a RAID 1 configuration I put the hard drives into the case now as you can see I've um, labeled the hard drive so it's uh, nice and clear of which hard drives what I've got the RAID drives there I'm still waiting for another two hard drives to arrive so I'll update this video